I tend to buy a lot of shoes. One of the reasons why I do is because I get tired of wearing them or simply just want more styles. In this video, I will show you how I turn my old shoes into new ones by having a new look. Hello guys, my name is Eric Garcia and these are my Ultra Boosts. These are the Uncaged Parley Edition with the blue-ish colorway. I got these about a year ago for 60 to 70 bucks at the Adidas outlet. So basically what I will be doing here is turning the upper into a new color. And the color that I've decided is black. So basically what I did here, I got a Clorox wipe and just basically got rid of the dirt of the boost. I did not do a deep clean just because I will do it in the future with more product and yeah, so that's what I did first. Next, you will need an electric tape or some tape that flexes a lot. So you'll basically be taping all around the shoe, having no white spots. If you have white spots, you'll mess that up later in the future or just be careful if you do. Um, like I did here, I did mess up, but hey, I'll clean it off later. You do have the option of putting tape under the shoe. I decided not to just because you'll waste tape, but if you're careful enough, you don't have to worry about that. I got my paint at Michael's at this art supply store. I asked the person that worked there what's the paint that you can use in fabric and she recommended this one. I'll put it down below if you want to get it. I also got this brush. I recommend you getting a brush that is flat headed just so you can get into more detail on your shoe. I do recommend you having uh, some surface where you put the paint on. You can have a bottle cap like I did or paper clay, napkin, somewhere where you can put the paint on and then paint to the shoe. Don't go from bottle to shoe just because you might over paint and you don't want to do that. And thanks to my little cousin, she helped me out on this one. Once I had everything ready, I went right into it. I started off from top to bottom. I recommend you to do about two to three coats of the paint. And actually with two coats, it will do just fine. Especially because it's colored black, you don't need much of the color. It's basically a really neutral color. And for the sake of the video, I speed it up ahead. And here's the final look. As you can see, it looked just like how I wanted it. Black from top, white on the bottom. I did do some mistakes, well, which it sucks, but hey, you learn from them, right? So the bad things about this project, the bad thing is that you won't have that flexibility that you originally had at the beginning with the Ultra Boost. As you can see right here, I tried to put it, my hand on and just like trying to stretch the fibers and all that good stuff. And you can see the, the blue that it used to be, which is, doesn't, doesn't bother me, but you will notice once you use them a lot. As you can see, I did not paint the inside. I left the inside just alone, which I won't be bothered by that. One last thing about the shoes is that on your toe box where you get the three lines of Adidas, it's different from the fabric itself, meaning that once you scrape them, the paint will come off. So just a heads up. At the end of the day, I hope I spark your interest and imagination and creativity for you to do something similar like me, for you to bring new life to old pairs of shoes that you might have in the back of your closet. They look good, they feel good, and just like I wanted them. I just need the laces on and I should be good. But overall, this was a great project. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I appreciate all your support. If you like these videos, please like it down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you so much. See you guys next time.